Are you serious? Oh my god. September 11th today, um, we are packing up and heading west. This is my first ever elk hunt. Um, this is a hunt that I have dreamt doing my entire life. And everything I got here is gonna be basically what I'm living off of the next eight days. We're going to an area that I actually went out uh, about 15 plus years ago with family and uh, scouted and just with life and everything going on, never had a chance to um, do this hunt. And the stars finally aligned. It's gonna be my first elk hunt too with my cousin Walt, who previously, before I started doing a lot of filming, he was the main person I hunted with growing up. So it's been probably 10 plus years since we've done a hunt together. Also got Brennan along with running the camera. Just couldn't, couldn't picture having two better guys to uh, spend my first trip with out here in the mountains. So Walt's gonna be pulling in here a little bit and then we got about a 20 plus hour drive to Colorado and we will be hunting tomorrow afternoon. Let's do this! Sounds good. That sounds good. You guys. Catch you later. Bye. Bye. She's just, she's just worried about you. She is worried. She's always worried. She doesn't think I'll do the safe thing, but that's what I do. I always do the safe thing. <laughs> We're having some car troubles. Radio don't work. Truck keeps turning off. Challenges, but we'll work through them. We'll persevere, push through, just like we always do. That's what that's yeah. still get around us. So I'm gonna kill it. Yeah. What did we learn? Just all in. Like my uncle, like my uncle Ray used to say. When in doubt, throttle out. Guy said to give her hell, so give her hell. Just pulled in here. Kind of the spot that we checked out. I was checking out many years ago. Um, looks good so far. Seen some elk trails coming off these road crossings, um, but we're just kind of heading up the mountain here. Gonna check some of these spots out, kind of see what we're dealing with for hunting pressure. We're here, beautiful weather. Sounds like it's gonna be good weather all week. Excited. Should be a fun next eight or so days of chasing elk. I'm hesitant to drop the trailer here. Yeah, I agree. And I don't want to commit to here. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. It's two Yeah, we could check it out. We got a lot of time. We got, let's just say two hours. Check that out, see what you guys think. I mean, we're gonna see hunters there too, but it just would be nice to know what guys are doing. Yep. Getting the essentials. Got a nice little mountain spring of water here. This will be our showering water, cooking water.
like we've seen some off here. It's tough, they're long ways away. I'm about 75% sure they're elk. There's a couple openings up over here that we've been kind of glassing on and off. And I've been seeing quite a few mule deer. I can't tell what it is at all. It's getting pretty dark, but I think at least we got a starting point way up there. Cracking light here on our first official morning. Oh, we're back up on the high point that we started at yesterday. Um, we're gonna just sit here for a while, see if we can hear some bugling. We've seen some elk sign in here yesterday. Nothing super fresh. So we're basically, we're gonna start here. Uh, there's a bunch of national forest that heads east of here. And if we don't have any luck, we hop on the Rambos, get a few more miles back in. Keep on moving. That was cold. That was very cold. Feet are frozen. I think we're elk hunters though. Turn us into elk hunters. We are now elk hunters. About 10 o'clock here. Um, just met up with Walt. Kind of a creek crossing. Dumped the rainbows. And we just decided to uh, just go for a little hike. We're following a little river system through this, uh, through these pines. Cut into some elk tracks, some droppings, a couple rubs. Uh, no elk yet, but we're at least finding sign. The first couple, two, three hours in the morning, we really weren't seeing much as far as anything fresh. But I think the plan is we're just going to keep pressing along this creek. If we get the wind in our favor, we can eventually run into something. We got probably 45 minutes daylight left. We got skunk today, pretty good. We did get on some elk sign, just not on elk. But we drove around to a couple different places this afternoon, checked them out. Um, a lot of people traffic. So we went to a new spot up here this afternoon by about 25, 30 minutes north. On a spot I had pinned on base map and uh, just hiked up in here a little ways just to see what it looked like. And not really a lot of people tracks. Um, a lot more horseback travel. Some big country up in here. Some steep stuff. But uh, I think we're gonna try this in the morning, get in here early. Trying to put some miles on tomorrow and hopefully get on some elk. Not get skunked another day. Eight thirty ish. Yeah. Close to eight thirty. Um, we actually got on some elk this morning. No visuals yet, but um got our first bugles of the trip. I think we had I'd say two, maybe three bulls. But we're just trying to learn this terrain. Um they were well, the closest one with the answer next hillside over. I don't know, really, if 
how far distance wise it was still a decent ways away um, we know there's elk there and we're probably gonna just let them be if if we don't get them fired up again here but we've hiked quite a ways up <laughs> I don't know it was an hour and a half hike up so far yep. two hour <coughs> hike up yep. and it's been uphill the majority of the way so the legs are getting a good workout this morning but it's fun we're finally on some elk here we just got to learn the terrain and figure out how to kill one of these damn things Yeah, I think we're going back up. Let's just go back here. Let's get on this tree. Yep. Okay. Oh. I'm going to get this dress here. We've been working our way up this mountain ridge here. We've got a bull bugling just down below us. Could be up the next ridge, possibly. We just came into a, a scrape here where he's been rutting up, and, and we're going to see if we can call him up here. Moving down this ridge line, I think we need to we need to follow him down and try and cut him off. We just moved down back uh, where we had come from, and this wall appears to be working his way down this way. We're trying to draw him up a little bit so we can get him to the top here and uh, see if we can connect on him. Mike has dropped back about 25, 30 yards and over a little bit trying to call him, continue to call him down the way, down the mountain ridge, on uh, the direction he's going and, and up. And uh, we're trying to cut him off before it gets to Mike. He's, he's raking, he's raking, he's raking. sign though because that helped close the deal. This is our second day here in Colorado. First day really coming into this spot and it took us about three and a half hours to get up the top of the top here and we were just gassed by the time we got up here so we actually took like a two hour nap. It was pretty quiet after the sun came up. And Literally we were, right here. And we're like yeah we slept. That's where I slept right there. Yeah, we shot, shot, him right shot him right where we were sleeping. And we decided we were going to keep going. And uh, just try and check out some more country. Well, we only made it 100 yards. And one piped off right below us. And we worked him probably 100 yards up. And uh, he just kind of started to side hill. So we just kept the wind in our favor and kept working with him. And then once we got to here, where it was, it's kind of open, it's not super open. I just dropped off on this side and tried to call him up over to Walt and <laughs> it freaking worked out pretty awesome. Amazing. Again. Not bad, not bad for not having a clue what the hell we're doing. <laughs> we got a good shot on him. We'll give him a little bit here, but he was just right here. Sounded good. I think the arrow blew through all the way actually. Should we mark that? I definitely smell him. Yeah. I definitely smell them, guys. It just looks like there's tracks here. Yep, right here, guys. That's good yes! Yes! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! 
Oh, dude. Happy birthday. Thank you, man. Yes. <sighs> Thank you. Birthday Thank ball. you, guys. Always dreamt about coming back. That's why. What a, what a beast. What an amazing animal. We've been on them kind of all morning. We were planning on being out here all day. We're gonna be out here all day by the time it's over, but uh, planning on pursuing them, uh, pursuing elk all day. And we were into them early. Mike had them answering them to the bugle and cow call. And I mean, just absolutely perfect. He came in. Uh, I got a little bit nervous and started crawling, maybe a little prematurely there, but it, it worked out perfect. I had an open shot at uh, 14, 15 yards and, and drilled them. It's been probably six, seven years since I've even uh, really been archery hunting. So to, to get back into it, this is a hell of a way to it's a hell, hell of a way to get back, into, to get back into it. Awfully special birthday, I won't, I won't forget this one. Matter, boys. That's a hell of a jaunt down. That's gonna wrap up day two. We're gonna get them loaded up here. Get the rest out in the morning. Hopefully find another one soon. We're on the move. We just got some food in us. The trailer hooked up, everything packed up. Gonna head to town, chill for a little bit this afternoon, come up with a plan for tomorrow. called in a hunter. <laughs> he kind of called us in too. Yeah, we were calling each other in. Had a bugle here this morning when Walt sounded off. I went across the canyon that I'm pretty sure it was actually a bull. So we went around this other ridge, worked our way up. We had that one bugling and one in the bottom. That bull up there kind of shut up. The one down here was going nuts. So we looped back around this way where we actually came in and initially got the first bugles. Got here, started bugling again. Sounded like we had a bull right down the bottom again. And we were sitting there glassing and turned out it was another hunter. I'm assuming he was going to our old calling and we were going to his calling. Two good callers. <laughs> <laughs> Two good elk buglers. Going at it. <laughs> Or 
Cheers. Salute. Just do a fun week in the mountains. First time being out here elk hunting. Couldn't ask for a better group of guys to be with. Couldn't ask for a better hunt. Proud to be successful on our first hunt, so good hunt. Cheese. <laughs> Cheese. Cheese. <laughs>